so I thought I would talk you through my summer morning routine today, which is kind of ironic because this morning when I woke up, I actually heard thunder and it was raining and really grey and gross. Thankfully it's brightened up now, but you know, just you can count on the UK weather that when you want to do something summery, it is going to be super grey and gross. Turn that phone off. So as always with me, it's very quick, it's very easy, but keep watching because there's a little like overnight oats breakfast recipe thrown in there and a mini makeup tutorial as well. And I've done blue eyeliners today. I know, what's going on? But first things first, I wake up and I do the usual, do a bit of scrolling, look through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of those kinds of things. And then I get out of bed and I've been trying to get back into running. And let me tell you, after not running for almost five months because of injury, it is hard, really, really hard, but I just pick out what I'm gonna wear, pop on my trainers and just get out and go. I'm keeping it to kind of one, two, three miles maximum at the moment. I don't know how I used to run a 10K. It's painful and there's a lot of huffing and puffing and I get very red in the face. I get out there, try and get the blood pumping. If I don't do that, I try and do some kind of yoga or like a fitness blender routine. And I like to get it out of the way in the morning because then I can just get on with my day. Now for breakfast, I've got a new favourite and the prep for this one happens the night before so let's like rewind to the night before here and it is so easy. I will pop the exact amounts below if you want to recreate it. It's actually a Madeline Shaw recipe from her Get The Glow book and it tastes super awesome but all you're going to need is some oats. I'm just popping some oats into a big bowl here. Then I just throw in a bit of almond milk, a tiny little bit of salt, a sprinkling of cinnamon and that is like what gives it awesome awesome taste. I love a good dose of cinnamon and then I just pop a bit of vanilla essence in as well and that just gives it a bit of sweetness and then I just stir it all up, pop it in the fridge. It is as easy as that and then the next morning I come back from my run. It might not look too appetizing but I promise you it tastes really good and then I just grate a green apple on top just to give it a bit of freshness, get a bit of fruit in, sprinkle on some pumpkin seeds and it really is as easy as that. It takes a bit of getting used to because it is a bit like eating cold porridge and at first I was a bit unsure but now I actually crave it in the morning. I wake up and I'm like, ooh, let's get those overnight oats in. It's kind of grim to sit there in your sweaty clothes and eat your breakfast but for me, like, food is the first thing I want after I've worked out. So then I hop into the bathroom, get in the shower and the thing I'm using at the moment is the Original Source Skin Quench All-in-One Moisturising Shower in the Pineapple and Coconut Oil Scent and this is like a two-in-one shower gel and in-shower moisturiser and it's one of the only ones that I've tried that doesn't leave you feeling greasy after. I just feel nice and soft it's got loads of good stuff in there including coconut oil which is always nice and it smells like pina colada which is obviously a big bonus. Then in my hair I use the Pantene Pro-V Expert Collection Advanced Keratin Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. These both smell incredible and they can erase two years of damage in two minutes which is pretty awesome and protect against future damage. They just leave my hair feeling so soft and when I feel like I need a bit of hydration in my lengths this is what I go for. Now this morning I use like a super speedy cutback version of my skincare routine just because I was trying to make it really snappy and really quick but if you want to see the full thing then let me know because I think I'm going to do an updated routine soon because I've tried a few new things and I'm really enjoying them but right now for cleanser of course I'm still using the Oscar Renaissance cleansing gel. I don't know what else to say you just know I love this stuff. This has got vitamins A, C, E, Omega 6 and pumpkin enzymes and a load of other stuff. I just find that this leaves my skin so smooth but really nourished and clean at the same time. Then I spritzed on some of this. It's the Tata Harper 100% Natural Hydrating Floral Essence Moisturising Toner, which the spray on this is quite dramatic. So if I look a bit like scrunched up in my face here, that's why, because it's quite intense. But it smells incredible and it just is like a drink for your skin. My skin just like drinks up this stuff. It doesn't leave my skin feeling tacky, but it makes whatever I put on next just go on really smoothly. Normally I do like an eye cream, a serum, a moisturiser, but today I'm just slapping on the SPF because obviously it's a summer morning routine. I'm on my way out. I need a bit of SPF and this is the Kiehl's Ultralight Daily UV Defence SPF 50 PA++++ UVA. Wicked stuff. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you would have seen me go crazy for this. Last summer, the summer before, I think it was the summer before last that I discovered it and it is an amazing SPF. It just feels so lightweight 
on your face. It just feels like a really nice moisturiser. It doesn't feel like it's got that like tacky, stodgy formula that you can sometimes get with SPF. Then it's time to tackle my hair, so I'm just brushing it through and I had a bit of a mare this morning, found some knots, found some tangles, I had to cut them out, you know, sometimes it happens. And then here I'm just sectioning it up and I'm going to use some of the Pantene Pro-V Expert Collection Hair Strengthening Primer with Paltinia. Now this primer works on the hair strand before it even grows out of the scalp, which is kind of amazing and it makes each strand stronger and thicker and more resilient from the start of their life cycle and I just section up my hair, spray it at the roots, about 15 sprays for all over my hair I find works best. I just massage it in with my fingertips and then just style as usual. So I'm just roughly blow drying that and getting very hot in the process. <laughs> Look at my little pink cheeks. Then when it's dry I'm just sectioning it up and curling it with my hair straighteners. I've done this a million and one times before and if you want to see it in more detail then I will pop a link to a video below where I kind of talk you through this weird twisting motion that I'm doing here. But when it's all done, just shaking it out, kind of running my fingers through it to split up all the curls so it doesn't look too poodly. And then we're gonna move on to makeup. Now because it's the summer and my skin just likes to eat up makeup for fun, so I do tend to use a primer. And right now I'm using the Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer, and this is the hydrating primer. This is like splashing water onto your face. It feels kind of incredible and it just provides an amazing base for whatever you're gonna pop on next. Makes everything long lasting and all of those other good things. And then for my base, this is the Lancome Renergy Eclay Multi Lift Instant Lifting Effect and Illuminating Skincare. I use this in the shade one. Mentioned this in my summer edit video. It is awesome stuff. Today I'm applying it with a foundation brush but you could just use your fingers if you wanted more of a sheer finish. Today I wanted a bit more coverage and I really found that working sort of two dollops into the skin was the perfect amount. Then I wasn't going to use any concealer but I looked at my bags and thought Anna what are you doing you need to put some on and I use the Charlotte Tilbury the retoucher conceal and treat stick I use this in Too Fair and I'm basically painting that all over my face where there's areas of darkness. So for me, that's around my nose, under my eyes, and I'm just popping a little bit on my cheeks because I'm a bit red today. It's really warm in here <laughs> under all of those lights. So I'm just trying to even everything out. And for me, this provides coverage while being quite hydrating on the skin. I didn't fancy setting it because I thought I would leave things quite like dewy and natural today, but I did go in with a bit of bronzer and I've gone back to this one, the NARS Laguna bronzer. You know I love the Soap and Glory Solar Powder, but I kind of having a moment with this again. It has a little bit of shimmer and it is quite warm so I didn't do too much like contouring or anything like that. I just sort of popped it on the outside of my face and anywhere where the sun would naturally hit just to put a bit of dimension back in. Then I tidied up my brows with the Bobbi Brown Perfectly Defined Longwear Brow Pencil. I use this in grey. It's just like all the others that I use. It's got a little spoolie on one end so I just go through and brush up my brows and make sure the shape of them is okay. Then I just go in with the waxy nib and define it anywhere that I need to and for me I'm finding more and more that's on the top of arches of the brow because my brows are really quite straight and angry and also just elongating them a tiny amount on the ends. Now here is where it gets a little bit different for me because I'm going to use blue eyeliner. I know, madness, what is going on? So I just gave my eyelashes a quick curl with the shimmer mirrors and then I went in with the new YSL Shocking Eyeliner Effect Fossil and this is in the colour 2. Now this is part of their limited edition summer Le Saharian range, whatever it's called. I think there's two colours, there's more that's like a greeny turquoise and this is an amazing cobalt blue. And that's the reason why I love this. It's a liquid eyeliner, it's got like a little Kajali style nib and I'm just painting that kind of more on the outer corner of my eye, doing like a little flick, getting it really wrong and having to start again. I'm not sure how much footage I've got of this I can actually use because I have cotton buds galore going on here. I think I used four, five. Then for my mascara, of course, I went for the Fairy Drop Scandal Queen mascara and I just layered that up a load. This is great because it's waterproof. It's got really high wax content, so it's gonna hold a curl incredibly and not budge in any kind of humid or hot conditions. Then for my lips, I did a little mix and I've been wearing this mix quite a lot in like recent videos. You've probably seen this before. It's the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in the shade 05. And I've just popped that all over my lips, just everywhere, smooshing it in. 
And then I go over the top with the Kiko Free Spirit Lips and Cheeks in the shade 01. This is an amazing like creamy peachy nude lip colour that on its own can be a little bit too pale but with the pinkiness of the Clarins underneath it makes a really nice lip colour and because you've got that lip pencil on top it's a little bit more longer lasting than just wearing the gloss. So that concludes my little summer routine. Obviously I'd pop a bit of perfume on, pick out some clothes and run out the door ready for a very sweaty hot tube journey but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on Wednesday with a little haul. Bye!